This demonstration provides a brief workflow for placing multiple pipes exiting an inlet and modeling their flow. In this example, we will place a second pipe flowing between these two existing inlets in our storm and sanitary database. To begin, we will go to Drainage, Layout, and select the Pipe tab. We will use the Upstream and Downstream ID locator buttons to choose our upstream inlet and downstream inlet. Since the program knows that there's already a pipe flowing between these two inlets, we are prompted down at the bottom under the split flow section to identify what percentage of flow is going to go into each pipe. We're going to be laying out the same size pipe between these two inlets, so we're going to model each pipe as 50% of the flow. When we enter 50 and hit the tab key, we'll notice that the program calculates 50% of the flow through this inlet will go into each pipe. When we hit apply, the pipe gets placed. Now we will close the drainage layout dialog. And in order to model the HGL and EGL losses occurring in the inlet with the two pipes coming out of it, we need to go to drainage, edit review, and edit the inlet with the two pipes leaving. On the HGL, EGL tab, we will have to manually enter in the user specified head loss for this inlet. If we enter in a 0.5 and hit tab and apply, our head loss leaving this inlet will be a 0.5. Now when we close the edit review dialog and design the network using the drainage network design command, we can hit apply, scroll down, and see that our inlet is designed with the user specified head loss.